Education Secretary Betsy DeVos was back on Capitol Hill this week, this time spinning the administration's proposal to cut $10.6 billion from after-school programs, the DOE's Office of Civil Rights, and programs for children with disabilities. $1.4 billion of the savings would go to funding her school voucher program, which overwhelmingly benefits families that already send their children to private schools. The embattled secretary was questioned about private schools forcing families to sign away their rights guaranteed by the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. Each state deals with this issue in their own manner, she replied. She didn't even seem to know how Title I funding works. In her first answer, the secretary said she believed high poverty school districts do get more funding than wealthier districts, which is most often not true. In the second response, she said she believes high poverty school districts get more federal funding than wealthier districts. That's not always true. Massachusetts Representative Catherine Clark then asked DeVos whether she would deny funding to a Christian school in Bloomington, Indiana that receives $665,000 in state vouchers while denying admission to children from LGBTQ families. There's no situation if the state approved it that you would put the state flexibility over our students. Is that your testimony? I think I think a hypothetical in this case it's is It's not a hypothetical. This is a real school applying lady, for that receives real dollars. Your time has expired. States and local communities are best equipped to make these decisions and framework on behalf of their, their I, I am shocked that you cannot come up with one example of discrimination that you would stand up for students. States' rights, in case it sounds familiar, is the decades-old catchphrase used by politicians to justify discriminatory policies. As secretary, it's DeVos's duty to protect marginalized students from these policies. Instead, the billionaire heiress has made it her life's work to profit off them. The president's budget proposal is already getting pushback from members of his own party and is unlikely to survive in its current form. If you found the information in this video helpful, go ahead and share it with a friend and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.